We're going to do the SMV for facial bones or sinuses, and then also the bilateral zygomatic arch is all an SMV. So we have a 10 by 12 cassette in the trip. I have my collimation matching that film size. Try to get as much as you can ready to go before you have your patient um, extend their head back. We know that's not a very comfortable position to be in. So what I'm going to have Libby do is I'm going to ask her to kind of tilt her head back and we're going to rest the vertex right against the bucky. And for this, remember, we want the Iowa male to be parallel, so I need to have her extend her head back a little bit further. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we want MSP to be perpendicular. And then I want to be mid-sag, so I'm going to go ahead and slide my chair over to get her mid-sag. Make sure she's not tilted or rotated. Can you extend back a little bit further? Do you want me to slide the chair? Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, central ray for all of these is going to be at the level of the gonion. I'm going to support Libby's head and move my bucky. And then collimation for this I would do to your outer skin margins. Okay, keep in mind that when we're doing facial bones, we want to see the shadow of the nose because we want to get the nasal bones on it. It's okay if you're clipping occipital bone. That's not an area of concern for this. I would leave your collimation just like this as well for sinuses, as well as for your bilateral zygomatic arch for the SMB. The only thing that varies between these is going to be your technique. So your technique for your bilateral zygomatic arches will be more like a soft tissue technique with a 60 to 70 kb range. I'll let Libby relax for a second. The light's going to be in your eyes. That's okay. Um, That's okay. So from this one, what we're going to do is go to the unilateral zygomatic arch. So a unilateral zygomatic arch, since we're only focusing on one arch, we are going to flip the cassette to portrait. This is called the oblique inferior superior. The oblique inferior superior um, for the zygomatic arch because we're going to oblique the head. Our central ray is traveling inferior, exiting superiorly, also known as the tangential because we're just going to be skimming that zygomatic bone. So you first have to position your patient back in an SMV. I can adjust my collimation to what my film size is now, 10 by 12 portrait. So I'll have Libby lean back and rest the top of her head against the IR. Again, I want IOML to be parallel. I want MSP to be perpendicular. And then from here, we're going to do 15 degrees of rotation and 15 degrees of tilt, always toward the side of interest. So in this sake, we're going to use Libby's left side. So I'm going to rotate her head 15 degrees, which is just ever so slightly. And then I'm going to tilt her head 15 degrees in order to get that parietal eminence out of the way. So I'm going to do a little bit of tilt that way. And when I turn my light on, what I'm seeing is that zygomatic bone in profile. I'm going to move it over because we want to be right in the center here and then you can move your central ray up so that you're centering right over that zygomatic bone. Okay, I'm going to line up my body, make sure Libby is still good. There. I had a rotator again but you can see that nice shadow in that center chamber. Bring your collimation close. I would say you could be at least five by five for this, six by six. Marker, this is her left. And then measure GP, ask your patient to hold still and click. Okay. 